Hey guys, today I'm back with another first impression review and this time I'm going to be reviewing the CoverGirl Queen All Day Flawless 3-in-1 Foundation. I'm in the shade Toffee or number Q820. So, um, excuse my appearance, I just got done working out um, and I just really wanted to try out this foundation on a day where I was going to be at home just in case I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> or in case it's the wrong color so forgive my appearance but let's go ahead and get right into it so if you haven't heard about this foundation um, number one it comes in shades of brown <laughs> so it's for women of color covergirl regular has their own line of these that comes in other shades for lighter women and from what I've seen and what I've read they seem to be the same foundation it's just that the queen designates that it's meant for women of color, meaning it has different undertones and uh, a wider range of darker colors. So I want to give it a try because anytime a drugstore caters to women of my color, I get excited. So, <laughs> so anyway, this is supposed to be, well, actually, let me read the back. It says it's supposed to have all day flawless coverage. It should be have the lasting power of powder, coverage of a concealer and blendability of blendability of a foundation in one shine free and spe specially designed for darker skin tones so we shall see so um because i'm testing this out i did not apply a primer normally when i wear foundation i do apply a primer but i wanted to give this a um chance and not have anything else get in the way of how it performs so i'm just going to use this um round kabuki brush this is by Crown Brush. This is one of the new brushes I ordered that's supposed to be like a dupe of the Sigmax brushes. So it's my first time using this. I'm just going to start out with, oh, wait a minute. Oh, it was locked. Okay. <laughs> so you just have to twist it um, to unlock the foundation, which is very nice. So I'm going to start out with a pump. Oh, the pump wasn't that big, so, okay. So about that much on there. Okay, I was a little bit worried about the color, but it looks like it's matching. I have heard that this foundation oxidizes, so we'll see if it continues to match in a couple minutes, but... And right off, I can tell you that this foundation doesn't spread very far. Like that pump I use, usually only use like one pump of foundation. Um, but it didn't cover my whole face, so a little bit more. It feels pretty good going on, so that's a plus. Alright, so I think that's pretty much well blended. Um, right now it feels slightly like I have something on my face. I'm um, almost like I applied a moisturizer, but it's not sticky by any means. I'm going to give it a couple minutes and um, I'm going to go ahead and do some other light makeup. And I'll be back in a few minutes to let you know how it's looking at the end of that. Okay, so I'm back. It's been about five minutes and I added some concealer underneath my eyes and I set that with a powder, but I did not put powder anywhere else on my face. And then I also put on some blush and mascara and touched up my eyebrows. So, um, so far so good. I think that I'm getting pretty decent coverage. I used about a pump and a, probably about a pump and a half and I think it gave me medium coverage. I could still see some of my blemishes like right in this area, some redness that it didn't necessarily cover. Um, but from what I've seen and read on this foundation, it can be built up to full coverage. So maybe I'll try that on another day, but I really, I'm not a huge fan of full coverage foundation. So I kind of stuck with what I knew. Plus I could see that it was starting to accentuate some dryness around this area. And I felt like if I built it up anymore, it probably would just accentuate the dryness even more. So didn't want to do that. Um, so just for the record, my skin is combination. 
but I mainly dry in this area and the dryness to me is more bothersome than the oiliness. So usually I go for foundations that have a dewier finish. This one definitely does not have a dewy finish so I think it will be, I mean just from my first initial thoughts, I think it would be good for ladies with oily skin. But um, I'll be coming back to you in a couple hours, let you know how it's holding up um, and let you know if it oxidized. Thus far, I don't think it's oxidized any and it does match my skin tone well, so I'm pretty happy with that. So yeah, I'll see you in a couple hours. Right now, the time is 108. So I'll probably try to come back in two to three hours, let you know how it's holding up. Um, and if I keep this foundation on all day, I'll come back a little bit later after that. So yeah, see you guys soon. Bye. Now 5.28 and uh, this is my first check-in. So I'm getting ready to go somewhere and to be perfectly honest, I don't think this foundation thus far has held up exceptionally well and I'll tell you why. Um, I, now, <clears throat> looking at my skin, I can see that my face clearly still has foundation on it. Um, but I feel like in some places it looks a little bit patchy. Now, I'm not going to blame that completely on the foundation because, number one, I have been like cleaning up and doing stuff. I haven't been just sitting around or going to work or a normal day like that. Number two, I took a shower with this makeup on. <laughs> And number three, I did not use a primer, which I usually do for all foundations. So um, <clears throat> that being said, I'm not counting the foundation out yet. Plus, I only used a small amount. I only got up to medium, medium coverage. So maybe it holds up a little bit better once you build it up to full coverage. Um, but I will say that it still, it still looks decent. It's just that since I'm evaluating, I'm probably being a little bit extra critical on it. But. <laughs> Anyway, so I wanted to come on and show you all real quick what it's looking like now. It's been, <clears throat> let's see, I think I initially did it at like one o'clock, so it's been four and a half hours. So um, I will say that I'm really not getting much shine here on my forehead, which is a good thing because I didn't powder or set this foundation on. I didn't use a primer, so yeah, not bad. But I wanted to come on because I'm getting ready to go out and I'm going to add like eyeshadow and that type of thing. And I'm probably going to add some more concealer because it looks like my concealer is gone, which is weird as well. Um, but maybe it's all because I didn't use a primer. I'm sorry if I keep looking down, I'm looking at a mirror. <laughs> um, so anyway, I'm going to um, add a little bit more makeup. I'll show you what it looks like after I do that before I leave and then when I come back tonight which will probably be in another four hours or so I'll show you what it looks like at the end of the night so see you in a second okay I'm back I added the rest of my makeup um, what I did was put more concealer underneath my eyes and I set that of course um, I also put a little bit of my matte mineralized skin finish powder uh, let me show it to you this here that I use I normally use this to set my foundation. I took this on a powder puff and I um, powdered my forehead and my nose and uh, my chin area because normally when I wear foundations, when they start breaking up around that area when the oil starts coming through. So I went ahead and put that on. And of course I put on eyeshadow, eyeliner. I touched up my blush a little bit and then I put on lipstick. So I didn't put on any more foundation because I never do that. That's how you normally get cakey looking. So yeah, so um, I do feel like I look good to go out. Looks like I have fresh makeup on. So I'll be back later on tonight to show you all how it looks at the end of the night. See you soon. All right, so I'm back and the time is now 11.17. Um, so I've had this foundation on since one o'clock. So yeah, this is the end of the day. Excuse how I look because I'm pretty tired at this point. But overall, I think the foundation held up pretty well. And whenever I decide to wear it again, I'll definitely be putting a primer on because I think that'll help with, um, help decrease the 
chances of it accentuating my dryness like I said when I first applied it also I think it'll help it last longer because when I came back earlier I told you that it didn't look exactly how it looked when I initially put it on so but again that was after me like cleaning and showering and all that so I won't necessarily blame that on the foundation but I would definitely wear it with primer uh, I don't necessarily think I would need to powder it as long as I put a primer on but I will be sure to update you all whenever I decide to wear it again and let you know how it holds up with the primer but as of right now for my first impression I do think that this foundation the CoverGirl Queen 3-in-1 foundation is a good choice um, definitely for drugstore you know I don't expect it to work like my high-end foundations but it does feel pretty good it looks good it matches well on me it didn't oxidize um, so yeah pretty good held up for 10 hours at least I could still keep going if I really needed to but <laughs> all right so that's it I'm tired I'm gonna go to bed thanks for watching I hope you all enjoy this have a good night bye hey y'all so I decided to come back because I wanted to give a little bit more fair impression of uh, the CoverGirl All Day Flawless Foundation. And so this is the end of the day. I put this foundation on probably around 7 o'clock this morning and it's now 4.50. So I've had it on like 10 hours and this time I used a primer because I pretty much use primer with all my foundation so I decided to give, it a tr give this one a try with primer as well. And I will say that it did, um, it went on better, it glided on better, it blended out a little bit easier with the primer on. Um, however, I still, I don't think this is my perfect foundation. Probably more so because my skin is not super oily, it's more so dry. I do have an oily T-zone, you can see that oil is like, it's really shining on camera right now, but <laughs> it doesn't look that bad in person, but um... I have an oily T-zone, but my cheeks are dry, and so even when I put it on this morning over a primer, it still accentuated the dry areas on my face. Um, I didn't set it again because I just didn't feel like I needed to. It dries to like a powder finish almost. So um, just wanted to come on really quick and see you all, let you all see how it held up after 10 hours of wear today over a primer. Um, and it it looks pretty good. It actually looks better than it looked this morning because I thought this morning. Um, after I put it on, I just thought it made my skin look too matte. Um, but, you know, that's kind of all about preference and what your skin type is. So, hope this was helpful and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.